is the portfolio manager at Invest Securities. Well, let's head back to the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants. They are hosting their annual Courageous Conversations Dialogue Series where conversations are centered around ethical leadership and practice in the chartered accounting uh, profession. Ropua, who do you have with you right now? Hi again, Fifi. I'm sitting now with Takani Iratela, who is the Deputy Auditor General. And I first f thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Maybe just to start by giving a sense as to the reasons from a public sector perspective uh, you thought it important to be at this particular event. Thank you very much, uh, Rafiwa. The Office of the Auditor General has the constitutional mandate and responsibility to audit the public sector. And we do that um, through the work done by our full-time staff who comprise 3,500 people. Many of them are auditors and at least 600 of them are actually chartered accountants. So we have a big interest in the profession at large. We also outsource some of our work. So we rely on capacity amongst the private audit firms. So matters in the profession we have a vested interest in. We thought it was important to participate in this conversation today because we're just as worried as anybody else about the growth of mistrust um, by the public, the loss of confidence that the public has in the service provided by, public, by, 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 by auditors and accountants. Right. We were speaking offline earlier about the fact that these problems didn't just uh, come up overnight. Mm. They've been growing over a period of years. Yeah. And my question to you would be, how did we miss it? I think we got a bit complacent. We, all of us as citizens, associate the profession, the accountancy profession, with a high level of public interest, a high level of professionalism, competence, um, and, and independence in terms of how they execute their work. Um, for the profession itself, we, I think, became complacent as well. We stopped doing the basic things well, the, the daily disciplines that we know should be these little things that we do well all the time. We stopped doing that. And um, over time, um, the weaknesses came back to bite us in this way. Let's talk about uh, the regulatory environment. These things have happened. What is uh, the public sector or the engagements happening in terms of a change in regulations? Have you been having uh, conversations with implicated corporations uh, in terms of really changing that uh, regulatory environment uh, just to ensure uh, better oversight in the future? In terms of the profession yes. itself? Um, so a conversation such as today is an important start because it will help us as a profession together to start thinking about, okay, so what went wrong? How did we get here? And what are the things that we need to sort out if we are to get things right? Um, so this is an important step today and one we shouldn't make light of. Um, we're not going to resolve the issues today because they didn't emerge overnight. Um, but what we should be able to emerge out of today with is a stronger sense and resolve to, to, to deal with the issues that confront us, an acceptance of what it is we're facing, a resolve to deal with them, and a, and a plan to, to start dealing with these things over, over a period. Right. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon. And that's it from here it, at SICA headquarters, Fifi. You heard it. They will be accepting the issues that have arisen, and they'll be also coming up with those very necessary plans to ensure the integrity of the profession going forward. I'll be having further engagements with the many, many esteemed guests that are here tonight, Fifi, um, and I will catch up with you later. Sure, cheers, Rapua. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Of course, I certainly look forward to hearing some of the things that former Finance Minister Trevor Manuel has to say, as well as the chairperson of KPMG, that's Wiseman Nguhlu. Let's uh, go for a short break. When we